All right, so today we are talking about all the combat changes introduced to Infinite Galaxy, and there are a lot of them. We're still trying to wrap our heads around it. All right, so uh, after everything's been said and done, we've done a bunch of respecking. I am really happy with my captains here. We've got Molly and we've got Bruno, who's really, really good for the Titan in particular. And so we've got pretty much a, an emphasis on cruisers, thanks to the Cyclops, with kind of a secondary bolstering both destroyers and frigates because of all the missile bonuses of the Titan. So I still want to make sure that I'm using a mixed fleet. But I've definitely gone a bit cruiser heavy because again, we're rocking the Cyclops, we've got Molly, so a ton of natural uh, cruiser advantages. So the proportion that I'm running here, as you can see, uh, we've got all park 10,000 of my leadership going to cruisers, which is about half. And then the remaining leadership is split uh, kind of a 60-40 between destroyers and frigates. Actually, a little bit closer to 50-50 for the remaining with destroyers and frigates, but the idea is that the cruisers will do their work and just destroy the enemy cruisers and then get to work on the enemy destroyers before the enemy destroyers can pitch in too much and take out my frigates. All the while, the frigates are just kind of sitting there and holding strong. But ultimately, I have a very, very offense-based fleet. I've combined the Cyclops, which is an attack ship, with the Titan, which is an assault ship. So. The idea here is that when we win battles, uh, we should just immediately start establishing a ton of leverage. So this is a 5.5 mil fleet, and uh, we're going to put it to the test. First things first, we're going to fight some new high-level pirates. I've never fought level 31 pirates, but uh, give it a go. The game oh, predicts yeah. that this will be a harsh struggle, so find out. Oh, they are 7.4 mil. That's no joke. Now, we should start, yeah, we should make a big dent nice and early. As you can see, their cruisers are just melting. They are trying to chew through our frigates, but their cruisers are just getting obliterated. That's really good. And now my cruisers can turn on their destroyers, so their destroyers are just going to melt out from under them. So this worked out pretty well. Yeah, I mean, we still have 4.4 mil power. That, that went about as I hoped. Uh, just immediately cutting their cruisers out from under them. Let's uh, pick another target. We're going to go for the level 32 pirates here. 9.1 mil. That's pretty steep. So let's see if my frigates can hold out while we just massacre their cruisers, which um, so far we're keeping pace. My, my frigates are slowly going down, but their cruisers are getting just erased. All right, my frigates held just long enough but their cruisers are gone, which means their destroyers are going. And they are starting to chip away at my cruisers for sure. I may have to shift the balance a little bit, but we still had 3.7 million power that time, but we're, we're playing a risky game. Uh, we're, we're winning by these big margins because of the dent we're able to make nice and early, but we're not gonna be able to do that on the even higher level pirates, so. Let's try the uh, level 33 pirates, 10.9 mil power. Again, pretty steep. Let's see how it goes. And I'm I'm thinking I might need to shift the balance of my uh, frigates and destroyers, but we'll see. They are very light on cruisers as far as the composition of their fleet. And you never quite know what you're going to get with pirates, but this is a little problematic in that they've gotten completely rid of my frigates before we've gotten rid of their cruisers. That is a bit of a problem. Their frigates are already starting to chew away at my cruisers, and they were very frigate heavy. So this is a problem. We we are doing work on their destroyers, but they have so many frigates that our cruisers are, are getting just crushed here. All right. Uh, I think we are going to be able to pull this out, because now that... Finally, my cruisers can focus on their frigates. Their frigates are just melting, but this was a close one. And this does, uh, again, make me want to change up the composition a little bit because my frigates didn't hold out. What I've actually done is essentially give up some of my cruiser chewing power. But in theory, I should have bought myself a bit more. But this one's going to be tough nonetheless. So here we go. 
Uh, no, again, they are super frigate heavy, unfortunately. That is just really bad news for us. And because of the change I made, my cruisers are going to destroy their cruisers much more slowly. So my cruisers are doing work on theirs, but my frigates are about to give out, and there they go, and we still have plenty of work to do on theirs. My destroyers are also gone. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work out. I don't expect it to work, but I am curious if we went just really, really cruiser heavy, how that would work for this. And again, it's essentially hard countering ourselves, but we would have the advantage of wiping out their cruisers and then immediately their destroyers very quickly. All right, so after a lot of restructuring, uh, one thing that I think is pretty evident is that these changes didn't quite have the impact that the developers were going for, in my opinion. I think they were really trying to encourage mixed fleets and at face value it sounded like mixed fleets would be better, but what's actually happening is as soon as one class of ships essentially defeats their equals, they immediately start fighting empowered, if you want to call it that, and uh, that's when they can be most effective. So you are actually at the best advantage when you can immediately just erase one section of the enemy's ships and then whatever you have left will instantly power through the next section fighting with the full advantage even if they're taking the full disadvantage as long as you just have a really small amount of other types of ships if you go really really heavy in one class of ships and really uh, provide a lot of advantages for that particular class of ships ultimately you're able to accomplish uh, a lot more at least that's what it's been proven to show in these pirate fights i've been doing and i've been taking really cruiser heavy fleets into really frigate heavy pirates which should essentially result in being hard countered pretty hard but cruisers uh from what i've seen and admittedly i'm running a cyclops but cruisers seem to still be winning the day uh, not only that but being bolstered by my brontes has been helping more and bolstering my fleet with my Titan. So just staying the course and going full cruiser heavy, uh, this combat balance, uh, while it has allowed me an opportunity to lean even more heavily into the cruiser benefiting ships and the cruiser benefiting captains, uh, it hasn't actually really shaken up the meta so much as given us an opportunity to make some progress within it. So yeah, uh, those are my first impressions based on what we've seen here. So I'll show you uh, in closing a level 34 pirate fight so you can see what I'm talking about. But uh, this is uh, a 6 mil fleet fighting 12.9 mil pirates. So it's going to be a massive, massive punch up. And so far, all the pirates that I've seen have been really frigate heavy. And I am coming at them with uh, ultimately what I've settled on here. This fleet is my Cyclops and my Brontis all cruiser and you'll see the balance of the ships here it is something like 95 percent cruiser uh, you'll see so really heavy cruiser but what happens is their cruisers get chewed up almost immediately and then our cruisers just blow through their destroyers and uh, yeah, you can see at this point them fighting it out they're able to take them down just like that so yeah that's uh, what we've learned so this is my first impressions on the recent combat changes. So thank you guys very much for checking out this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and keep on cruising. And I will see you guys real soon. Till next time. Hey! There go the destroyers. And the frigates are going to absolutely melt. Victory. And that is what it took to take down the level 35 pirate.